Police say women are now coming forward, identifying themselves in photos posted by members of a Penn State fraternity. We have team coverage. A Somerset County couple terrorized in their own home. And they're asking who you are and what you want. Now they're hoping footprints in the snow in this broken window will help police track down the man they say tried to break in. This bridge is scheduled to close one week from today. What you can expect for your commute in and out of the city. Happening at sunrise, a partial building collapse leaves roads closed throughout Johnstown. We're live at the scene this morning to tell you about the detours. And a murder-suicide in Cambria County leaves two men dead. We'll tell you how they're connected. Happening at sunrise, after months of investigation, police charge a man in connection to a home invasion. And police are still looking for the person responsible for a homicide last week. How you can help them find that person. Happening at sunrise, there's more information in a case involving a Cambria County man who's accused of making disturbing threats on Facebook. And while many kids are heading back to school this morning, one area elementary school remains closed due to mold. We'll have a live report. Happening at sunrise, we're learning more about the reporter and photographer shot and killed on live TV. How one victim has a local connection. And a Cambria County Elementary School remains closed due to mold. How the superintendent says they're working to fix the problem. Happening at sunrise, the start of the school year delayed again for students at Westmont Elementary School. We're live this morning to tell you about the plans the district has in place. And a marijuana growing operation discovered in Center County will have more on arrests made.